So bila anda mendengar semua di rumah engine telah pun di di di, di, di Dipulasnya trotter semaksimumnya mungkin Ini menunjukkan, ini menunjukkan perubahan akan bermula pada bila masa sahaja lagi Bendera merah telah diberturunkan Satu, dua, tiga, go! So Kabir Saleh, Kabir Saleh ada kapal bukaan yang selain mampu Menurutkan tempat pertama di silkom yang pertama Ya, Kabir Saleh telah berjaya Berjaya menurutkan tempat pertama diikuti dengan Diana Haka Diikuti dengan Azlan Shah di tempat yang ketiga So once again, an amazing power start uh, from Kabir Saleh we have Daniel Haikal trailing right behind him, not uh, giving him any chance to get away here on the opening lap. Looks like it's a clean start for Whoa. all the riders. Oh, Berjaya Mintas. Apa jadi? Oh, Gabit Saleh! Gabit, Gabit Saleh. Saleh has crashed! Crash! Oh! Oh, ini adalah satu benda yang sangat-sangat mengejutkan. Lihat Azlan Shah. Azlan Shah sedang mengejar Daniel Haikal. So right now, Daniel Haikal has taken over the lead. Gabit has managed to pick up his bike and rejoin the race. But we're going to see in what position is he crossing the line. I think he is all the way down in last position yep. at the moment. It is a long way down for Gabit Sali. I'm not sure exactly uh, what mistake did he make in the opening lap. But that is a very unfortunate thing to see. Seperti yang saya katakan tadi, Lee. Kita katakan tadi. Yes, drama telah pun terjadi untuk kategori ini. Okay, Daniel Haikal telah great gap yang so sangat sangat luas. It's still Daniel Haikal, but Aslan right there behind him. A little, um, a slight gap opening. Zarif currently in third. For the legends, leading the way is Keith Chia, followed by Kenny Lee wow, in amazing. fifth position. Amazing. So ini battle antara living legend yang hebat juga lah. Keith Chia dengan Kenny Lee. For the first time, Kestia mendahului Kenny Lee. Exactly, and for the advanced class, we have Shafiq Ashraf in 6th position, followed by Osama in 7th. So, so far, a very, very exciting start to race 1 for the All-Stars. And the crowd is cheering our riders on. Aslan trying to hang in there with the very aggressive Daniel Haika. Gabit Saleh has improved to 12th position at the moment but still a long a long way a lot oh, of catch up for him to do Siapa yang jatuh? I think that is Keith I think that is Keith Chia is it or Jafir? Oh, I think Zafir Zafir Ah banyak drama si banyak banyak drama Okay, so riders taking precautions because I think the bike was in the middle of the track. Either way, it is still Ahmad Daniel Haikal once again leading the way, followed by Aslan Shah, Kamaru Zaman. I think we've also uh, lost Aslan. He has dropped to fourth position. What happened? Apa yang telah terjadi sekarang ni? Aslan Shah suddenly dropped kepada kedudukan nama keempat. So a lot of changes are happening as uh, we are watching it live here on track. So early on, I think the bike that fell was Keith Chia, oh, Keith bike Chia. number 75. Zafir is still on track currently in second position. Wow. And the legend, Kenny Lee, is actually <laughs> in third. So very, very impressive performance from the legends at the moment. Kenny Lee in third position. Gabit crawling his way, trying to do as much as he can to catch up and he's currently in 8th position. Wow, Gabit betul-betul on fire daripada kedudukan yang terakhir sekarang telah menunjukkan tempat yang ke-6. Betul-betul on fire. Gabit is giving it his all with, we're halfway through the race, he still has time to catch up. And so remind you guys, he has a very, very fast bike, sorry. Ya, yeah, for sure, for sure. So that's mean dia akan cuba membaiki kedudukan dia sebaik-baik mungkin supaya race tu tidak ada ketinggalan belakang. Tuan-tuan dan puan-puan, di tangkap ni crowd going crazy. Gila punya. Siap ada serakan. Thank you orang tangkap. Looking at Gabi's pace at the moment, he's lapping at the same pace as Daniel Haikal in the 42. Wow. So he is catching up quick. He's already as I finish speaking, he's already moved up to fifth. Wow, Gabi betul-betul on fire daripada kedudukan yang terakhir Dia sekarang kedudukan yang kelima Adakah dia akan menjadi dukan ke keempat Bekas kedudukan keempat ni juga sangat penting 
supaya dia boleh mendapat kedudukan yang lebih baik ketika race 2 nanti bermula. Yeah. Uh, Gabin is in the championship fight with uh, Daniel Haika. Zafir currently in second. Aslan Shah has passed a legend Kenny Lee to reclaim a podium position. So a lot happening with four laps to go. Banyak banyak drama kali terjadi. So Gabit at the moment trying to hunt down legend Kenny Lee and Zafi Zakasha in front. Azasha mengejutkan pada golongan keempat dia merampas kembali kedudukan uh, di tempat yang kedua. So it looks like there was a slight mistake for Aslan but he has managed to reclaim second position. Gabit at the moment a 5 second gap from Kenny Lee. Zarin, do you think he has enough time to close the gap to legend Kenny Lee? I don't know tapi kalau melainkan Kenny Lee melakukan kesilapan sedikit Di sinilah Gabit Lee akan Gabit Gabit akan 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 mendapat kedudukan dan bergumulan saya akan meminta Kenny Lee. So Gabit still lapping in the 42. A similar very close to the lap time of Daniel Haika. It's a very pity that we could not see them battle it out here in race 1. Sepatutnya one. dengan race pace ini kita dah kita patut menjangkakan persaingan di tempat kedua, eh, pertama dan kedua akan menjadi sangat sengit. Saya Gabit terjatuh Dan, akhir, dan sekarang dia serang cuba membagi kedudukannya daripada tempat yang tak akhir untuk tempat yang kelima betul-betul on fire yeah, so a couple changes in position in the front Kenny Lee has reclaimed a third position from pro rider Zafir Zakasha so the all stars legend definitely you know hanging in there with all the pro riders salute the master salute the legend Kenny Lee we have two laps to go. Gabe is right now less than two seconds behind Zafir. Drama. I think he can make it looking at his lap time. He's currently set the fastest lap of 42.5. Wow, amazing by Gabe. So that's been pada bila masa saja dia mungkin akan berada di belakang betul-betul di belakang Zafir. Yes. So as we can see right now, Gabit is right behind the tail yes. of Zafir. Seperti kita jangkakan berkemurusan, Gabit akan memiliki kedudukan di tempat yang keempat. Adakah mampu? Sangat-sangat rapat sekarang ini. Ya, kita boleh melihat mampukan Zafir. Gabit, 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 Gabit. Oh, dapat minta di tempat yang keempat. Sangat cantik yang lakukan oleh Gabit. Amazing comeback so far by Gabit after his mistake in the opening lap. Amazing performance by Gabit. Salute, salute, salute. So coming around for the final uh, lap, headed towards the checkered flag. So checkered flag. Gabit Saleh betul-betul membuat satu show yang sangat sangat apa? Oh! Gabit Saleh. Gabit Saleh jatuh. Oh! Another crash from Gabit Saleh an unfortunate end to race 1 as he comes across the checker flag we are going to oh! await the final results but All that effort put in to catch up all the way to fourth position. Wow. Wow. Wow is exactly all we can say at the moment after watching race one of the All Stars Pro Legend and Advance. Sorry, Ling. Sorry, sorry, all the penonton. Saya kehabisan kata-kata. Zarin is definitely lost forward but it is 99. <laughs> Ahmad Daniel Haika with his third win here in Supermoto. His winning streak continues as his closest rival, Gabit uh -huh. Saleh, suffers an unfortunate uh, series of unfortunate events here in race one. However, 
do keep in mind we still have Another race, race two. Penentu podium. Yes. Penentu untuk para pelumba ini mendapatkan uh, trofi. Wow. Huh. Tuan-tuan dan puan-puan, inilah MSS Supermoto. Penuh dengan aksi. Okey, so pelumba akan dimulakan pada masa semua kru telah pun beredar daripada track Masa-masa telah mengarahkan semua kru berada daripada track Anda boleh dengar di rumah enjin So, this is it Tonton dan perempuan Yang berada di tangkap, yang melihat di secara langsung di Facebook Inilah perlumbaan Dan anda nanti-nantikan perlumbaan terakhir untuk MSR Supermoto Round 2 Di Lita Tangkap Johor Darul Takzim Mereka sedang melakukan warm up lab So I see right now we have a lot of fans tuning in, a lot of fans supporting Gabit Saleh. So guys, if you have a favorite rider, if you guys are cheering on, doesn't matter. Ahmad Daniel Haika, Aslan Shah, Shakai Real, Kenny Lee, Okabeng, leave it in the comments. Let us know who, which rider are you supporting here. Supermodel. Mereka memerlukan sokongan anda. Mungkin mereka tidak melihat sekarang, tapi apa saja keputusan mereka uh, uh, mereka dapat dapat mereka memerlukan sokongan anda. Apa saja keputusan mereka uh, dapat. Teruskan komen dan juga jangan lupa share sebanyak banyak mungkin. Inilah perlumbaan terakhir untuk MSS Supermoto Round 2 Legend Gentlemen. Tunggu masa sahaja. Siap sedia. Bendera merah dikibarkan. Bendera merah telah diturunkan. Satu, dua, tiga, go! Ada kamu apa dengan Haka menuju dilihat di selekor pertama di kuda pertama. Wow! Oh! Wow! Oh! Oh! A mistake ah uh, from Ahmad Dene Haika. In turn three, looks like it is Aslan Shah Kamaru Zaman taking the lead here. Gabi saya tadi hampir berjaya melukis ke kedua, kedua, tapi melakukan kesilapan sedikit, jatuh kembali ke kedudukan yang keempat lebih kurang. Kedudukan ketiga, okay. Aslan Shah di kedudukan yang pertama, diikuti rapat dengan Haikal. Impressive start from Aslan Shah Kamaru Zaman. Daniel Haikal trying to reclaim P1. Masa lagi Azlan Shah dukar kedua pertama Dana Haka mengikuti rapat Azlan Shah Menyukai musikal selekor yang kedua Gabi Saleh at the moment in fourth Legend rider Kenny Lee holding on to third position But ladies and gentlemen the battle is on Finally we are going to see Aslan Shah Kamaru Zaman go head to head with Ahmad Daniel Haikal here in Tangka The master versus the young padawan Menjuri seleko, masih lagi Azlan Shah mengukuhkan kedudukan di petak pertama Diikuti dengan Daniel Haika, sangat rapat, Daniel Haika berjaya memintas Adakah berjaya? Oh, sahabat sahabat Azlan Shah masih di kedudukan pertama Daniel Haika memintas kembali Wah, ada dramatik race Daniel Haika di kedudukan pertama, Azlan Shah di kedudukan kedua So Daniel Haika takes the lead back, but Azlan Shah kembali zaman Still following right behind him. The battle is not done. Daniel Haika proving that he has what, what it takes to pull away, but I am not going to. We are going to still uh, continue to follow the top two riders, but right behind them, we have a battle for third position between legend Kenny Lee and Gabit Saleh. Impressive by Kenny Lee. Kena berjaya menghalang kemarahan Gabi Saleh. So far this weekend, Zarif, I am saluting Kenny Lee for his effort to hang on there in the front with the top three pro riders. Yes, yeah, salute. Oh, oh. Daniel Haikal! What happened to Daniel Haikal? Oh! A mistake uh, from Daniel Haikal. We're not sure what happened, but looks like he has lost his lead here in race two. We're going to wait for the riders to come around, but Aslan, Aslan Shah, 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 Shah the master! Whoa. Back on top, followed by legend Kenny Lee and Gabit Saleh. 
Monare! I think Zion, this is the first time we've seen a mistake Banana. from Ahmad Daniel Haikal. Oh, and it is a costly one because now he's not even in the podium position. Mampu atau tidak Azlan Syah mengekalkan kedudukan di tempat pertama? Masih lagi berjumpa soalan. This is a very good opportunity for Aslan to try to open the gap from legend Kenny Lee and Gabi Sali. Gabi trying to make a move on Kenny. Oh, menarik sekali mampukah Gabi Sali memintas Kenny Lee. Wow. But look who's right behind legend Kenny Lee. It is Ahmad Daniel Haikal. Maaf saya penonton, suara saya dah hilang. <laughs> In the back, we have a close battle for sixth position as well between Shafi Ashraf, Shah Khairil and also Osama. Let's Zarin, look who is right behind Gabin Saleh. It is bike number 99, Ahmad Daniel Haika. Sangat pantas dan 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 Haika sekarang dia telah mengejar Gabin Saleh so pertempuran yang kita nanti-nantikan telah pun jadi walaupun untuk kedudukan yang terbaik kedua waktu sementara waktu ini mampukah Gabin Saleh menghalang kepada Adan Haika dan Haika mengikuti rampak Gabin Saleh. Mampu Gabin Saleh minta dan Haika. So this is a battle that we have been waiting for. Bike number 27 versus bike number 99. Gabit Saleh and Ahmad Daniel Haikal battling out for second position here in race two with Aslan Shah pulling away in the front. Gabit Saleh mula masih lagi mengangkat kedudukan tempat kedua. Mampukah Daniel Haikal merapatkan kedudukan? Seluruh dan Aslan Shah masih lagi mengangkat tempat pertama. Dengan jarak yang agak sangat selesa Kami Saleh mula Membina gap di antara beliau Dengan Daniel Haikal We can see that both Gabit and Ahmad Daniel Haikal are riding very Aggressively on track at the moment Aslan has a Four second gap from both Riders So Zarin Do you think that Ahmad Daniel Haikal Can catch up to Gabit Saleh Saya lost word, tapi tak mustahil. <laughs> Saya rasa tak mustahil. Looking at the gap at the moment, Gabit has managed to pull away. Tapi Daniel Haikal merapatkan sikit kedudukan dengan break breaking yang sangat menarik. Tapi Gabit Halim jaya mengekal masih kekal kedudukan dengan membina gap yang agak selesa sedikit. Legend Kenny Lee in fourth position. Zafir Zakasha in fifth position. It is a close uh, battle in the back at the moment between some of the advanced riders and pro riders. With this layout here in Tanka, we definitely have a lot of overtaking opportunity. Aslan Shah crossing the line for the final lap. Gabit Saleh trying to hang on to second position. He cannot make a single mistake if he wants to hold on to second from Ahmad Daniel Haikal. Dan Daniel Haikal sedang merapati kedudukan. Mampukah Gabi Saleh menghalang kemarahan Daniel Haikal yang semakin rapat. Yang semakin rapat. Oh, mereka sliding. Oh, Daniel Haikal rapat dengan Gabi Saleh. Mampukah Gabi Saleh menghalang kemarahan Daniel Haikal? This is the battle for P2. Daniel Haikal punya exit speed yang lebih baik. Daniel Haika giving it all he has here on the final lap. Coming yeah, in the final the turn. Mampu kami 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 kedua. Yeah. This is the best battle ever. The salute Aslan Shah. Victory goes to Aslan Shah Kamaru Zaman followed by Gabin Saleh and Ahmad Daniel Haika. Salute Aslan Shah. Salute the master. What an amazing performance from our All-Stars riders here in race two. Coming in third place, Mohammad Shafi Ashraf from Team Super Slide Baby. Coming in second place, Osama from Most Fun Gym.
and a race two winner for the advanced class, Afib Izudin from 99 Racing Team. Okay, one group photo with just the riders. We're going to move on to the uh, All Stars Legends category. So, once again, we'd like to invite uh, Mr. Pei from Mesla Motorcycle Tires to help us. Present the riders with their trophies. Coming in third place, Oka Bing from Most Fun Gym. Oh! Anything you like. <laughs> you are my champion. <laughs> Coming in second place, Keith Chia from Team KMTR All Star. Oh! And today's All Stars legend winner, Kenny Lee from Team oh, Team oh, 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 oh. <laughs> 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 Moving on to the final podium of the day, which is the MSS Supermoto All Stars Pro category. Coming in, oh, sorry, once again, we'd like to invite Mr. Pei from Mesla Motorcycle Tire to help give out the trophies. Coming in third place today, I'm a Daniel Haika from Team KMTR All Stars. Coming in second place, Gabit Saleh. And our All Stars Pro winner for race two, Aslan Shah Kamaruzaman! Thank you so much, Mr. Payne. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, congratulations to our All Star Pro Riders. Okay, one, two, three, pause.